Hello comrades. My name is Ertuğrul Kürkçü. I'm the honorary chair of the People's Democratic Party of Turkey, a mass party comprising a strategic alliance of Turkey's left and democratic forces with the Kurdish liberation movement. I'm honored by your invitation to participate in this forum and I would like to contribute with a couple of comments relying on the best practices of the international heritage and of our own experiences. We are meeting at a time of war between NATO and Russia that is fought on the Ukrainian soil. It has been more than one month and the human casualties have already passed thousands and heaping with tens of thousands. The beautiful and peaceful cities of Ukraine are ruined and continue to be ruined. Millions of women, children and elderly had to flee their homes unless immediately stopped by determined international action for peace, the ongoing war in Ukraine, given the insanity and selfishness of the leaderships of the contending parties, implies even the involvement of nuclear arms in the conflict and thus threatens the very existence of the globe as such. Immediate action by a third force, that is the collective will and determination of the peoples to prevent their leaders from further bloodshed and devastation of the lives of the survivors is urgent. On this occasion, I would like to express my condolences to the peoples of Ukraine who have lost their beloved ones in this insane and ruthless occupation and to the mothers of the Russian soldiers who mourn for their martyrs without a cause who are lost in others' war. In this war, and in any war of an imperialist character, internationalists should stick to the principles what have passed the test of time in the two previous world wars, the revolutionary wars and the wars of national liberation. The internationalist peace program should, without any reservation, condone the recognition of self-determination of nations simultaneously with the repudiation on, of annexations. That is, the internationals of every nation should demand the right of secession for the nations that are oppressed by their nations. This is the principal point for a democratic and lasting peace worldwide. Further, internationals should incessantly explain that the imperialist powers and the international imperialist bourgeoisie cannot grant a democratic peace. Peace should be won by the collective and simultaneous action of the peoples, the first step of which is to detach themselves from the whole of patriotic verbalisms of their bourgeoisie and fight for their defeat. In this war in Ukraine, we hear many repudiations of the Russian claims of the negation of the Ukraine's right to self-determination and rightly so, but we hear very little about the right to seed of Donetsk and Luhansk. We hear many words of Ukraine's right to freedom to choose NATO membership as a sovereign nation, but we hear very little of the criticism of this mockery of freedom, what boils to an oxymoron, freedom to join world domination. Hence, we should return to our proper roles. Russian internationals are admirably fighting against Putin's great Russian chauvinism and imperialist schemes of reviving the Russian Empire inevitably as a postmodern prison of nations. This compels us to play our parts as the ardent critics of the aggressive military pact of NATO and of the contribution by our own governments in this war of domination with the people's resources of the hypocritical justification of this unjust war. Concretely and openly, Turkey, a NATO member country with the biggest army and military industrial complex seconding that of the USA in the Atlantic Alliance is the best example for imperialist hypocrisy, both in terms of its own practices and of NATO's capacity of swallowing Ankara's infringements of the rights of its own Kurdish citizens and of the Kurdish citizens of Rojava and Sinjar to self-determination. 
Ankara has already occupied and eventually depopulated serious Kurdish provinces of Efren, Serekania, and Giresipi to deny self-rule to serious Kurds. It is continually bombing Sinjar to deny self-rule to Iraq's Ezidi Kurdish population and continuing in Turkey to deny the Kurds' right to self-determination and keeping the Kurdish provinces under colonial rule with ruthless coercion. Turkey, with its expansionist ambitions, have become a major threat to peace in the last two decades across the Mediterranean, in the Caucasus, and in the Middle East. It builds alliances with warring parties in Libya, in Azerbaijan, in Somalia, and backs regime change in Syria, as well as organizing, arming, and hosting Al-Qaeda and Daesh elements against the Syrian regime and Kurds, as well as building a proxy army of jihadists for its own purposes. However, Ankara has already joined in the international course to denounce Russian expansionism in Ukraine. Turkey's government-controlled mainstream media, 724, turns video clips of Russian atrocities in Ukraine. However, the very Putin regime provides Erdogan the best role model for dealing with its own war resistance, express jailing and sentencing of the dissidents for high treason. Ankara, as part of the NATO alliance, sides with Ukraine in the ongoing conflict and supplies the Ukrainian army with UKs and fans the flames of war with additional firepower, whereas it has become a major buyer of Russian S-400 mobile surface-to-air missile systems in turn to gain military cooperation of Russia in Syria against the Kurdish self-rule in Rojava. Erdogan, with utmost hypocrisy, is now playing the part of the peace builder in Ukraine, the best way of obtaining the highest profit for minimum cost in this war. It keeps the military-industrial complex on track, supplies Ukraine with increased numbers of UKs, but refrains from joining the Western imperial financial blockade against Russia and keeps Russian natural, natural gas pipeline running and keeping the Ukrainian wheat supplies uninterrupted. We call on the peoples of Turkey for joining the campaign for Ankara's withdrawal from NATO and from similar existing and prospective military pacts and treaties for regional and global domination. We call on the peoples of Turkey, urge Ankara, stop arms sales and purchases to and from Ukraine and Russia. We call on peoples of Turkey, urge Ankara, withdraw its military presence uh, from Syria, Iraq and Cyprus. We call on peoples of Turkey to join forces for a reconstruction of Republic of Turkey on the voluntary unity of peoples, on the recognition of self-determination of any constitutive entity down to the smallest village. The United Nations cannot stop the ongoing war and the growing threat of nuclear war as the very conflict stems out of the competition for dem domination and repartition of the world. I believe the conditions are ripe and the need is urgent for an international movement for peace for calling the peoples of Europe and the USA and Russia to resist the war of their own governments, for bringing together the political and social movements, public opinion leaders, governments who distance themselves from the contending parties to the war. I believe the emerging democracies of Latin America, led by progressive and anti-fascist governments such as Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Honduras, the left and international forces of Europe and North Africa, like your Potere al Popola, could play a leading part in this undertaking. We call on for an international front of peoples for peace to stop the war and to protect the globe from extinction by humans in human activities, or we may end up at extinction and this case even going back to barbarism may appear as a pink scenario. Best regards and many thanks for this opportunity. Thank you.